What is the best way to meet a decent Thai woman? สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Thoughts. I'm my name is Pam. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a super interesting topic: where to find a decent woman in Thailand. And before we going to start. As a Thai, and is my observation. I think in Thailand they have some kind of two girl who interesting to dating a foreigners. The first group is the one who know enough English. Mostly they working girl and they work in tourist industry and. They know some English for communicate for sure, but the thing that they have like they have confident. They're not afraid of a foreigner to communicate or to express themselves. And the second group is, I would say, they know some English. Of course, they kind of scared of talking to a foreigners because in their working culture, it's always have the thing like their colleagues might judge them that oh, your English is not that good. Why you speak English? Your accent is horrible. Something like that. So they kind of scared. To talk to or express themselves, it might not be the right word. It might be the wrong grammar. And the thing is, this kind of group they have like a decent career and money wise, they can take care of themselves and take care of their family. That's why they're not they separate to having a foreigner partner. So in this kind of group, mostly because they don't live in the tourist attraction area. It's very rare item to find them, and just like for example, my friend, I have a bunch of friend that still single. She have like a decent job. Some are doctor, some are engineer, some are work as a programmer, and they are they all single. I think based on my experience, because. We don't see them often, right? In our life, sometimes we met them when we go travel in another province or even in another country. When we kind of open mind and talk to them, it turns out like bad way. They don't what we expected, and due to those reason, we kind of like okay, whatever. If it's not work out, I would just. Cut it off and move on and just do my life as usual. So that's why we not kind of hungry. Try to search them. It's kind of like oh, let's just go with the flow, and that flow is not coming. <laughs> that's why. And due to those reason, I'm gonna tell you exactly what is the signs that we consider it as a decent Thai woman. First, she want you to be a better person. This is a good thing and so healthy in relationship. Even though she didn't say anything, but you will feel that like if she a good person, right? You wanna try to be better to get to the same level as her. If she like hard working woman and she do so many stuff, you try to be like a better person and be the same. That's why if you see this sign in yourself, just look at yourself. When you around her, you wanna be a better person to be with her or not. If you have that, that's a good sign. Number two, she loves you. How can we know if she loves you? It's just so simple. Just see her love language, her reaction, and so many stuff. From what I feel, who is love me is the one who come to my life and don't want to change my life. That's so important to find someone who truly accept who you are and love you the way you are. Number three. Get along with family and friends. As a Thai, we kind of like family oriented. Family come first, so we prioritize family first. And if you ask her to go see your families or your friends, she not deny. But it's not just go meeting your families and friends, but the way she dress have to be respect your family and friends as well. We will not. Show our body or try to be sexy in front of your family or friends. That's inappropriate and cannot accept in Thai culture. And if you don't know in Thai culture, we'll call partner family as our family. For example, I will call like a mom guys as my mom, like mom or dad. So that's the level that we respect our partner family. Or no matter what they have a problem, we'll be there to help them because we treat them as our family, right? Number four, 
not always finding fault for your Thai partner. She should not be the one who always pointing into the problem or this is wrong, this is wrong, fix this, fix that. This is not our thing that our parents teach us. We should have the way to express ourselves in compromised way. For example, if you never ever help her to cleaning room, she will have the way to say that instead of like, why you don't do this? I'm so tired. Why you don't help me? But she will try to compromise like, oh, it would be great if you help me cleaning this part. If we finish it faster and we have some time to watching movie together. That's the example. Number five, let you enjoy guy stuff. Sometimes you want to go hang out with your friend or go play football or go to a bar with your friend, right? She have to allow that thing happen because you still have your another part that connect with your friend. She have to let it be and have your own space. Number six, respect. In this one, I mean when you have an argument outside, she will not shouting and yelling at you in public because that way gonna make you lose face and feel ashamed in public. No matter what happened, we'll take it inside and when we're in private, we'll talk and express ourselves that what you have done earlier, I'm not feeling okay or can you fix this thing for me? And they won't embarrass you in front of your friends or your family at all. Number seven, beauty. I know this thing is kind of subjective, but beauty in this mean she have to know how to dress properly in that circumstances and mostly it's come with she dress properly and do makeup properly in the right circumstances. Number eight, sex. Even though this kind of subject, we not really open much in our Thai culture, but we still have the term that your wife have to be good in bed and at home as well. It's kind of tough work for a woman, I know, but she have to know what to do in bed. Not necessary to be every detail that she have to be good at, but at least she open to talk with or be okay to try something new with you. Number nine, intelligence. This thing kind of lasts longer, no matter how old she is. Because if she pretty, of course, it's going to have certain time that she look pretty. But if she intelligence, that's going to last longer with her. And when you have a problem, she's going to be there to help you fix that issue. It's not just like you have to walk alone and solve everything by yourself. And lastly, being herself, if she tries so hard to change herself, of course it's unhealthy, right? So if she's still being herself, but still try to adapt from what you have, that the important things. Because when it comes with a relationship, it's not just only one person, right? They have to try to adapt to get along to each other. Here we come with this question. Then where to find those decent women in Thailand? You might have heard people suggest a lot about online dating app. But for me personally, I don't think online dating is working anymore in nowadays. I just feel like people go to use dating app for check their rating and boost their confidence that oh they're gonna have someone match with me or not or I want to gain more follower from my Instagram. That's kind of thing that I feel dating app nowadays. But even though dating app it doesn't seem work out, but they have the research in the USA that people met a lot through dating app is number one and through friends and work in order. So I just really curious how is dating app works as a guy but still even though people met a lot through dating app but who gonna be success in dating app right and then they have another research from tinder experiment that they say less than 10 percent of men who get matched from a woman which is totally opposite from a woman that's why when you ask some woman what is the best way to meet a man? They might say online dating app because they get over 30% to match with the guys. So it seems like it's easier for them. But for you guys, I have another choice to meet a decent Thai woman. Cafe. If you love bringing coffee and go to the same place often and you see a girl who come to the same place almost every time that you go as well, I think that's a good sign that you might start a conversation. 
like i remember you you come here too often do you have any menu to suggest me just so easy to start your conversation group class they have a lot of courses just like cooking class hiking class i think this is the best way to meet a person who is interesting into the same thing if she signed to those class obviously she willing to learn that thing and also she gonna be open to talk with people into the class as well because she expect that she will come to make connection into the class so this is the best way to open your conversation tour if you love travel this is the best choice because you're gonna find the same person who interesting into the same thing it's like if you into diving things and this is from my personal experience my friend she goes diving a lot alone because she really into it and she end up with finding a man who loves the same thing and they like start to learning each other so this is the best thing for you guys as well if you have something you interesting just like your hobby or anything event or concert in the event i mean wedding or either birthday party this one is just so easy because you can know through your friend you can ask your friend to like recommend you for the one that you're interesting to also and just like concert right people want to go there to having a good time and you can start your own conversation just like what is your favorite song just simple like that bar i know even someone said like you might not find a good girl in a bar but for someone they might go to a bar just like one time a year just like me and my friend and my colleagues sometimes we go hang out in a bar just like for a special moment and here i have the tips for you guys i think a bar is very easy to open your conversation because people are so open and they go there to having a good time right you just look for someone that not dressed so sexy or not just like a bar that very close and have like a loud music you know like boom 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 <laughs> just go to find some place like live music show and people so chilling relax i think that's the best way as well and lastly i would say a park because someone who into exercise thing they will have to go to a park consistency and you will see her often as well so this is the good sign that you will find the one who interesting into the same thing and start your own conversation and lastly if you're looking for a decent thai woman just be patient and be respect because in thai culture you should not ask for sex in the first or a couple days that very rude and those decent women will scared and run away from you so just be respect and earn her trust a little bit by a little bit but trust me your result gonna be worth it mm. so at the end i hope you guys find the right one for yourself thank you for watching please like and subscribe to the channel and also if you guys have any question please drop your question down below see you guys next time bye